Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free in Toulon. Today is a huge day because we are going to be reviewing in detail the brand new Z42 Li. This is a zero turn mower from Ryobi. This is the biggest thing that they've ever put out. Now I have the 42 inch version of this mower. They do have a 30 inch and a 54 inch version of this. This has dual blades down at the bottom. This is going to be a very in-depth review because this is a big investment. So if you're looking at one of these, you definitely want to stick around. Let's check out this particular mower. When you purchase this mower, it comes with the amazing brand new 80 volt 10 amp hour battery. And then it comes with a 40 volt 12 amp hour battery. This is the first of its kind. This thing is absolutely amazing. Check it out. The 12 amp hour battery for the 40 volt is the biggest and the baddest battery that they make for the 40 volt. But the suitcase battery, the 80 volt 10 amp hour battery, this is the biggest battery that they currently make on any platform. When you look at the battery itself, we can press the button here. And it actually has a digital display and that shows you what the percentage is of this unit. So with the two 10 amp hour 80 volt batteries and the two 40 volt 12 amp hour batteries, this machine can run up to three acres or it can cut up to three acres of land um, with those batteries. However, it actually has more capacity. So if we take a look at the trunk, this is where the batteries go. You can see it has three different slots here. So you can put three of those big 80 volt batteries in there. And then right here you have three slots for your batteries. These are the two 12 amp hour batteries, but I'm going to put in two more six amp hour batteries to help this along. And these are supplemental power for this unit. Now on this side, you have an extra battery capacity over here. So I'm putting this battery over here, but just take note, you do have a storage capacity on this side and you have a little charging port right there. So if you want to put your phone or device in here, Boom, you can put it in there and you can charge it. So for all these batteries, you gotta be able to charge it. In order to do that, we actually have this awesome wall charger. This is something like you would see on an electric vehicle. It has a little whip that comes off. You have a charging point down here on the bottom left panel here, right above the wheel. You put it in, you push it, and then you can see this changes colors. Now it's red. It goes to green, it's flashing, that means it's charging. Now, cool thing about this is it charges all the batteries in the unit. Now, all these batteries can be charged up in three hours. That's what it's rated for. If you put another battery in there, it's gonna go up a little higher, but the supercharger is rated at 14 amps at 120 volts. So it's really kicking the power. So let's take a look down here. You actually have storage in here that you can put water bottle, paperwork, whatever you want to do. If you want to put straps in here, you could as well. But that's a nice little area. They're maximizing the space. A little storage there. Now this has 12 different positions for your cutting height. It goes from one and a half inch to four and a half inches. It's easy, very simple. So you can raise and lower the deck as you need. Now this right here, this actually comes out and this is whatever your preference you want your grass height to be. You can just set it right there. And what that'll do, is allow you to change this really quick. And you can see it's tapered through here, so as soon as you drop it, it goes right in. So that's just a nice little feature. Going over to the right side of the drivers here, if you pull this up, you have a, two cell phone holders right here. This is nice, let's take a closer look. You can see it's pretty deep right there too. So that'll hold your phone. Then over here, you have another five volt, uh, one amp charger, USB that comes out charge your phones in there you have your key to turn it on and then this is uh, this is where you turn uh, the blades on and off so you just pull it up to engage the blades you push it down to disengage the blades and then this is really cool take a look this is called clear bagger chute what that does is if you get a uh, clog in the bagger you hit that button that gives the motor a little bit more power to spin the blades and it'll try to clear the chute which is really awesome so you have two cup holders here uh, you have space for a can in the bottom, and then you have a larger cup that goes at the top, so that's really nice to have. So you can fit all your Yetis in there. 
So as you can see on the display, we have a few different buttons here, but you have a status screen where it shows all of the uh, battery percentage. Now, this takes the combined battery percentage, and what that does, it shows you the overall health. If you wanna see more individualized battery levels, you just hit that screen and it shows you every single battery that you have plugged in. So you can see that I'm 100% on the 80 volt batteries. You can see which batteries through here have um, different levels. And what that does is give you that information in case you need to change batteries or you can trend that as well. So you hit this, this is the last screen. And what this does is this shows you all of your maintenance checks. So it shows right now that in 25 hours, I need to sharpen the blades um, on the mower. So that gives you really good information. So if we click back, you go to the main screen. If we hit this button here, this is gonna show you the three speeds for drive mode. You have high, medium, and low. That is actually really important to have because that's gonna gauge how fast you're actually moving um, and then your controllability of it. Now this button right here, this is for your headlights. Now they're on. Hey, now they're off. We've already talked about that button. This is so you can pair your device. If we hit this button, this is your blade speed. That's number three. Number two. And number one, which is low. Now, if you look right here, that's a Bluetooth button um, that we talked about before. Now we're actually connected. Let's take a look at the screen so you can see what this looks like on a phone. Okay, so let's take a look at this app right now. You can see this gives you an overview of the ZTR, the 42 inch, and you can see right now I have a total runtime of one hour and 24 minutes. This is brand new, but if we click to the next screen, you can see this is all the batteries and what the stage they're at. So this is really cool to have. We click right here. This also tells you whenever the runtime is for when you need to check in the blades or at least sharpen them. But there's other little things you can do. They have a little bug up here. That's in the top right hand corner. Now this shows the logs uh, that you're using. I haven't used this enough to actually create logs, but this is going to show you um, your use and patterns. If we go to the menu, you can uh, go to instructional tutorials, operation manuals, call support and contact us. This has and then there's links on social media for you to get to as well. But we're going to go back home. And this is really cool because it communicates. It's going to be able to log that data. And you're going to be able to use that at some point as well. If we look at the deck, this is all stamped steel plating. This is a steel deck. Now this has four brushless motors on it. Two for the blades and then two for the wheels. Um, now this is pretty interesting because they're actually using the cross cut blades on this. So you can see the cross cut blades underneath. You can see what they look like. You can see the motors. This is what it looks like underneath. Now what that does is that double crutch your grass so you get a better level of cut. It helps mulching it as well so you have just a better quality cut. Another really thought out thing is your chute. So on the chute, instead of being plastic where they break off, everybody hits things. Well, this is actually rubber. So it folds in, it's very flexible. So you're, you're able to hit stuff, you can get by stuff, and it doesn't damage it. So RYOBI has really taken their time and they've thought out every detail of this particular mower. So the seat alone, it actually is a suspension seat. So you don't feel all those bumps and things, you don't get jostled around. Now the cool thing is, you can move forward, you can move back. Now, I'm only 5'9", so I can sit it up a little further, be just fine. But I have a friend who's 6'4", and he tried it out, and he was able to sit all the way back and still be comfortable, and you're not crowded, kind of like with the handles that go across on the previous Z-turn. But if you look right here, there's a dial. Now that dial is to increase or decrease the spring pressure in the seat so that it can either be firmer or you can loosen up and can be a little bit more bouncy depending on what your preference is. That's awesome. Now, also, I just want to draw the attention to the seat. This seat is really comfortable. And as you can see, I'm moving the armrest up and down. Let's take a closer look at that. So as we take a closer look at the seat, the first thing you see is this is beautiful Ryobi 80 volt HP. It's embroidered. This is super nice. So we take a look at the seat. We can see it's bolstered. It has a lot of good molding onto it. So this is going to keep you into place right here. This is going to keep you into place right here. Now I'm not a little person. So I'm right around 230, 
and this holds me into place. It's not too narrow. I can fit in it just fine. Now I'm holding up the armrest right now because you can see this has a knob. So if we loosen that knob, this is actually adjustable. So whatever your preference is, you can adjust this side. This side is not adjustable. That's because you have the iDrive joystick over here that controls everything. So let's talk about the iDrive joystick. This is pretty interesting. This has been everyone's thought about this particular mower because this is the biggest change. And to my knowledge, this is the first one on the market like this. So as you start out in the middle, we have the mower on. It's down, you pull it up so that you have actually a centralized location right in the center as you press this down and that's called the neutral position. You're not gonna go anywhere. But if you pull it up, just like this, now you can start to move. Now I'm in my garage, so what I wanna show is articulate around the garage just so you can see how zero turn and the tighter spaces that you can maneuver this in. So now I think it's time to take it outside. Let's go cut some grass. See, this is what I'm talking about. The cut's so even, it's so clean. Being that this has 31 equivalent horsepower, we're able to haul trailers, we're able to haul all our fencing, anything for our garden. This is actually perfect for us. My wife absolutely loves this feature. In fact, now that it has this feature that it has a hitch and we can haul trailers, well, she uses it every single day, so. <laughs> Hey, I, we can't really complain about that. That's absolutely amazing. This is by far the best Ryobi product I have ever tested. Um, I would go so far on a limb to say that this is the best one that they've ever made. Between the creature comforts, the technology that you have, I can't say enough about this seat. It's so comfortable. The suspension below it just makes it that much better because you're not feeling any of the bumps. The dual blades having such a super clean cut um, and it helps mulch it up so you have a better yard. It helps it get down, trap the moisture so your grass actually grows better. These headlights, those things just look cool and they work great. Uh, being able to track information on your phone so you can tell what you're doing on the mower is absolutely awesome. I think the 80 volt batteries are out of this world. The power that they put out is incredible and they're light. Um, the 12 amp hour or 40 volt batteries to be able to help power this thing along and to supplement, I think that really helps as well. And then you can take them out and you can use them in your weed whackers or different attachments, anything that's 40 volt, it's gonna be able to be utilized. And then you can take all those attachments, you can throw them in a trailer because you're going to be able to haul it. This thing also has an available bagger if you want to get that. I just mulch it up. I don't need it. So all in all, this is a fantastic machine. I couldn't recommend it more. The fact that you're not using gas, combustible engines, you don't have to maintain an engine anymore, changing any oil. You can get out there, get the work done, get back to your family, which means the most, or what other activity that you would rather be doing. So you're saving money. It's comfortable. It's actually really fun to use. <laughs> I think I'm mowing my yard more than what I should be mowing it at the moment. Uh, I can't say, it's just really fun. So I hope that everyone enjoyed this video. I hope that you're gonna go check out this mower because it's a game changer. I think it's gonna change the way that you think about lawn care, how you approach your lawn care. 
Um, if you did like the video, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe, and I have a lot more videos coming up, so stay tuned. Take care, everybody.